Let's look at mental math strategies for subtraction. We'll take a look at friendly numbers. And when we're using friendly numbers, what we're doing is we're shifting the values of numbers so that we make tens or hundreds or thousands to make the subtraction even easier. Unlike addition, though, we do have to make a slightly different adjustment. So 184 minus 59. Well, 59 is close to 60. So if I add 1, I can do 184 minus 60, which would equal 124. But I've taken too many away. I was only supposed to take away 59. I took away 60. So what do I have to do? I have to add that one back in, and my final answer is 125. Let's look at a slightly different problem. 376 minus 122. Now this time, I can make my 122 very easily to 120. So I can do 376 minus 120, and that would be 256. But I didn't take enough away. I only took away 120, and I was supposed to take away 122. So what do I need to do? I need to subtract two more. 256 minus 2 is 254, so my final answer, 376 minus 122 is 254. Let's look at a couple more examples. Even larger numbers, I'm in my 8,000 here, 8,825 minus 6,397. Well, 397, if I just add three more to it, I'm going to be at 6,400. So 8,825 minus 6,400 equals 2,425. But look, I took too many away, so what do I need to do? I need to put those three back in. 2,425 plus those three extras are, is 2,428. So 8,825 minus 6,397 is 2,428. Similarly, if I have 7,930 minus 4,623, mentally what I'm going to want to do is take my 623 and subtract 3, and now I'm going to have 7,930 minus 4,620, which is 3,310. Now, I only took 4,620 away, I was supposed to take 4,623, so what do I need to do? I need to subtract three more, and I get a final answer of 3,307.